that sweet little baby Yoda. And then I've got some baby scissors next to him. Oh, and he's holding a needle. Look, I didn't plan that. Look at these. Um, the floss. Ooh, it's silky. These are silks from Vicki Clayton. They're so soft. I really love them. Ooh, did y'all hear my shoulder pop? Okay, starting the video. back with another little stitch of me. I'm working on And They Send. And I'm back on my, it's not the frame that I have been using, but oh well. <laughs> it's okay. So since I worked on this last, or since you saw it last, I have filled in the angel. I filled in both of her wings and all of her dress. And I did the back stitching. I did the back stitching around her dress. I'm finished with like a um, gray color. And then on the outside of her wings, I did like a gold, which it called for the gray, but I like, I think I like it with the gold. I'm happy with it. So now I'm working on this right here, which is going to match this one pretty much. What I, let me see, where am I? Okay. So how I've been stitching this before is I actually ordered a extension bar, I think it's called. It's a for your Lowry stand. And it's just really to help. It's like a bar that goes, you attach it into the bracket and it like kind of supports the frame because it's just a really, really heavy frame. And it, it supports it so you can use the Lowry stain and that's like like my main area to stitch in is sitting in this chair over there that you know and, and where I do most of my other projects okay so I got that and I'm, I'm really liking it I'm really liking it it works well it's holding this it's not perfect um, it's, the frame may tilt a little bit but not bad oh crap oh, it's the end of the thread I always do that so I thought okay well I'm gonna set up oh I lost a nail <laughs> I'm going tomorrow to get them redone it's been like three weeks so I just took it off but um I'm going or so I decided okay I'm gonna go sit over there and I'm going to Set up my, my phone, because I film on my phone. I'm going to set my phone up, and I'm going to do a video. Well, the way my chair is positioned, I had the view of the stitching, but it was from this side. And so it was looking, you know, this way. Well, the way I stitch, I put my left hand up on the top and my right hand on the bottom underneath, right? To do two-handed stitching because it's just faster to me. But since it was from this side, the angle was coming this way, my hand was blocking like all the stitching. Does that make any sense? 
So I didn't like that. <laughs> so that's why I moved it over here and it wasn't that hard to do. I'm gonna show you how I and the thread here. Where is it? Where am I working? Okay. I just flip it over really easily on this and then tuck it underneath some of these stitches. Which I'm having a hard time doing right now for some reason. These um, needles that I use are, I don't even know if you can see, you probably can't even see it, but it's like the Easy Stitch, uh, not Easy Stitch, the um, Easy Glide or whatever, they're the, the ones that have the ball, the ball tip ones. I gotta get my scissors, hold on. And sometimes, they don't go underneath the, the thread on the back all that easily. Okay. And I'll just throw the loose thread on the ground <laughs> because I'm gonna have a trash can over here. And I gotta go back over and get another tool See, I have all my tools. I don't think I have one over here. Yeah, I do. Never mind. Can you see? Okay, I keep hitting the tripod and it shakes, so sorry. So when I'm finished with that piece of thread, then I'll go back. I don't even know if you can see this. And I'll Okay, y'all. <laughs> I literally just talked for 30 more minutes after I did this. And I was talking about market and what I'm going to do with some of the patterns. Oops. And it stopped recording. So I have no, sorry, I have no idea if this is going to stop recording or, or what. But <laughs> so frustrating. Um, but what I was saying is that I ordered a, t a lot of stuff from Market. I ordered from like five or six different shops, just kind of like spreading it around, you know? And then if I saw something that I had wanted that came available, then I would just, I'd just order it. And then I bought five, I just bought a lot, okay? And, but now, and then I got them in, started getting the things in, and sometimes I couldn't even remember did I order that? One thing I ordered from someone and then I, I wasn't sure if they're gonna be able to get it, so I ordered it from another place, so I'm actually gonna have a giveaway with it when I do my uh, floss tube, if I ever do one. But do you want to see a um, kind of a market haul from what of all, what patterns that I got in? Now some of the ones that, and I'll probably go over this when I do a video, but some of the ones that I ordered are, I got them and then I decided I was probably never gonna do them. Either they were like just too big, or I was like, you know what, I'm never gonna get around to this. And so, but I do have a plan for them. I'm going to be donate, donating them and I will probably get back, oh shoot, I'll probably get into that in greater detail in my video but because you might it might you might be the same way I am where you ordered so much and then you get it and you're like you know I don't really like that or I don't not necessarily like it but I'm just really not gonna stitch it I mean and some of them are you know nice patterns but I don't know I just I don't know for some reason I just got caught up I had told myself that I was only gonna order five, five things, or four, or no, actually two. I told myself I was only gonna order two things, and I ordered more than two things for sure. And then one thing has never even, 
so one thing hadn't come in yet because I just ordered it yesterday. And I ordered some fabric. Um, one of them I think I've started stitching on and the other is just somewhere in my house. <laughs> but um, get this stitching this way hurts my shoulder. I've been having some issues with my shoulder Yesterday it killed me. It was some dealing with some personal stuff, not with me, but family stuff. And I feel like I'm I hold a lot of my stress and tension in my shoulders and neck. And I was like stitching on this project that I decided I was gonna do on 40 count, and I've not really stitched on 40 count, and I decided I hate stitching on 40 count. It's just too, I can't go fast. Like right now, I feel like I'm, you know, I'm not flying through these, but I can see these really well. But with a 40 count, I can't, and I'm having to wear like double glasses, like glasses over my magnification stormtrooper glasses with the lights on, it's just too much. And then I also felt like I was hunching over to get my face really, really close to the um, fabric so I could see the holes. I'm gonna stop right here and see if this is still recording. Okay, it is. So, I probably, I don't know. I like the pattern, it's one of the new ones, but I may end up not stitching that one on 40 count. I may just, I haven't done very much. I just, I guess I just wanted to see if I could do it. Ooh, but I don't, don't like it. And like this is, this is 36 count. And I feel like it's so much easier to see the difference between 36 and 40 to me is a lot. But I just need me. You know, you just learn that you like some things and some things you don't like, I guess. I really like I'm really liking the, the 36 count. Although I don't like not being able to really do like two strands. I feel like two strands would be too much. Okay, I'm gonna, but anyway, what I was saying before I got off on, went a completely different way, is that I'm gonna think I'm gonna do one more little, oh, well, no, never mind. It, I just lost a thread. I think I'm gonna stop right here because my shoulder is hurting a little bit. And that's not good. Let me see where I can put this. Okay, I'm gonna flip it back over. I'm gonna have to re-thread this and then pull it through. So these stitch with me's are gonna be like probably not very long unless I take breaks and piece the video together. <laughs> Cause it's just not comfortable. But yeah, so do y'all want to watch, um, do you want me to do a, a haul video? Is that something you'd be interested in? I'm gonna have to, I'm definitely gonna have to vacuum in here because, um, where did I push those ones through? There they are. I'm gonna have to do a, I'm gonna, what, what, what was I saying? God, I get so distracted. I'm doing these. Yeah, okay, so I'll just go back to, do you want me to do a haul video? I mean, I, I love watching them, but some people might not like them, so I don't know. I'll do one. I'm not gonna look pretty though. I might wait until I get my one more thing that I've ordered and Pushing that one down with the snag nabbit, which is, 
I never thought that I would like this tool as much as I love it. <laughs> it's like, it's a like complete necessity for me. Okay, so let me see if this camera's still running. It hasn't stopped yet, that's good. Okay, so I was gonna show you the rest of this pattern. Where did I put it? There it is. And what I'm gonna be working on next. Okay, so I don't even know if you can see this, but actually, let me go over here. So the camera shut off again. I have no idea why it's doing that. Okay, so there is what I've done on the, I'm working on this. I got to come down here and finish that. This is the, this is what it looks like, the section that I'm working in. I hope that you can see this because, I if I can turn the light on. I mean, the, open the blinds, get some light in here. It was supposed to be really bad weather today. And I mean, I'm glad it's not, but it's not at all. I mean, it hasn't hardly even rained. Okay, so this is the section I'm working in now. And this is what I'm working on. And so I'm gonna do this like snake next. And then I think I'm going to come back over to this part, which is right here, and start working on, or maybe I'll, I don't know, I might work on the cloud and I might just start over here and I might just go all the way over here. I'm gonna be working on that cloud forever, okay? I'm gonna work on it forever. It's gonna be a, a big one, a big, big, it's a big cloud. I don't even know if that's what it is. <laughs> it's, just, it's like a gray blob, but it has you know, some things in it. Looks like a bird and some sun, some birds and sun. It looks like that's a sun peeking out from behind it. But uh, let's just um, zoom out so we can see this this pattern in its entirety. It's mammoth. So I'm like right there <laughs> at the very top. And someday I'll finish it. I honestly haven't worked on it very much lately. So I really want to, I enjoy working on this. I think it's pretty. I love the, the floss that I'm working on. It's um, silks. From Vicki Clayton. I love the colors and I love that I can just fit besides that big cloud. You know, a lot of it is just like smaller little motifs things that I feel like I get like a quick little finish, you know? So once I'm going to break up this cloud into like parts in order to get through it, but like maybe I'll just go like do this part and then come, and if I want to change, I'll come down here and do this. And then I'll stitch the border as I'm going along. And then, then I'll come back in here and stitch this part. And then might move over to this moon. And then I'll come over here. You know, I'm trying to break it up. I'm going to try to break it up. We'll see. Okay. All right. Well, thanks for, um watching this stitch with me and let me know if you want me to do a haul video of some of the things that I've purchased lately, especially from Market. And, or if you just want me to include those in like a regular floss tube. I just, I don't know. I've got so many things that I want to do and I just can't get organized to do them. Y'all have a great day and I will see you later. Thanks for joining me. Bye.